I'm heading over here to put together a kitchen corner upper cabinet. So follow along and see how I do it. Well, that line's not very straight. All right, that's better. Just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. I know um, everybody has a limited time in the day, so any time that you're devoting to watching one of my videos, that's an honor. Also, I appreciate if anyone uh, gives it a like, subscribe, all that. Any bit of support does help grow the channel. A little something I'm working on over here. This is a walnut office. This is one wall, uppers are these two right here. And the desk with two knee spaces with these three banks of drawers in between. And that's gonna be these right here. These two full height cabinets in the lower. There'll be two floating shelves between. And these will all be walnut slab doors, just like the doors on the white oak vanity, except in walnut. Cabinets over here. And then that's the lower that goes between them. And then the floating shelves will go above. So that'll be next video. I'll just show those coming together, the process and the life of a cabinet maker completing a job. In today's episode, I'm going to build a corner upper. We have the plan view. It's 24 by 24 in the corner. We have a run of uppers coming on this side and on this side, both 13 inches deep. That leaves 15 and a half for the face that cuts across at a 45, connecting the two runs of upper cabinets. Then that leaves all this storage inside in the corner. So there's our frame at 15 and a half across, mitered at 22 and a half degrees on either side. The upper height here, one and a half styles, four inch top rail, two inch bottom rail. We always do the bottom rails two inches so that with the three quarter floor to the cabinet, we'll leave an inch and a quarter underneath for lighting. And then the top is usually four inches, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on crown size. That's the surface to uh, attach the crown to. So what I do next is I'll cut a piece of plywood, which will be the bottom, 24 by 24, which represents this, 24 by 24. I'll then mark 13 inches in and 13 inches in to represent the uppers where they butt into it. And that leaves the face of our upper right here, just like that. And then the back, I do a 45. I measure in three inches and three inches. This piece of three quarter plywood is going to represent the wall thickness. Like that. Those are our two sides where the uppers will butt into, and this is the face. We're then going to have a quarter inch back. And this back is going to be three quarters. This is going to be dead space behind. For this one, I already have the frame and door made. That's how the face of the cabinet will look, which is going right here. And here we have 15 and a half. There's our wall. There's our wall. And I'll just trace on the back side. And then on the 22 and a half miter. With 
wall size is going to be 13 inches by the frame height of 40 inches. This is paint grade. A back wall with a 45 on each side. Next, so that we know the platform size, we're actually gonna not wanna cut it here. We're gonna wanna go in a quarter inch into the wall. Now we have that drawn in. I'll be cutting the platform here, here, and here. And for the bottom platform, this is gonna continue on here. So I do not cut that and I'm gonna put the wall on top. The top platform, I'll cut the same size, except I will also cut it here. And now it's time to cut the pieces. First, we're gonna cut the bottom platform along all the lines that I just drew. So that'd be 23 and a half by 23 and a half. And then we'll flip it around and, and then put the table saw to 23 and a quarter to cut the back side off. pieces we will need. Now that I have the pieces cut, I can now take my track saw and cut along here. And then, like I said, on the bottom, I'm leaving this so it runs to the wall. But the top platform, this wall is gonna come up and this will butt into that, which will be this one here. So that one I will clip the back. that on top there keep the grain going the same direction flip it around and then just trace over that's the top three and five eighths three and five eighths
bottom and the top. Back wall here, front here. It's now time for everyone's favorite part. I even got a special new router bit. Three quarter inch. Quarter inch. We have the two side walls. These are the insides. There's the miter. There's the miter. These are the back here. We will rabbit that out. We'll take the bottom rail of the face frame. Bottom, I flipped it around, and I'm going to do the top. Beautiful. Stop it short of the bottom just so you don't see it from underneath. There we go. Now it's time to drill the holes for the adjustable shelving. And there we are. Holes are drilled, including the back.
here I go again with all these clamps. You can never have too many. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna let that dry now. All came together quite nicely. I use these little blocks that I cut out for the corners so I can clamp these 45 degree walls. Let's look at it from the top. I put screws in the back side just for a place for the clamps to grab onto. There they are. Next, I'm going to miter one side where it meets this corner on the inside, on the bottom and the top. 19 and 7 sixteenths. 19 and 7 sixteenths, right on. Same for the other side, perfect. So we'll go 19 and 7 sixteenths. And just line them all up. It's the top and the bottom facing each other, top and bottom. Set to 45 degrees and zero degrees this way. Lay it flat. So I want to cut this way away from the line. Now they're all cut. Each side. And they'll go in there. That'll go on the bottom. This one go up top. Then we need a quarter inch back. 20 and 7 eighths. 20 and 7 eighths. 38 and 3 quarters. All right, so we have the glue almost dry, we have the nail rails, and we have the backs. The shaker door is already made, so I'm just gonna go drill the holes for the hinges. All right. Got everything ready to go. Once again, just wanna say thank you to everyone who stuck around and is still watching. I really appreciate the support. Hope you're enjoying this build as much as I am. We're almost there. All right, there really is nothing like seeing it all come together. The clamps are off. We have the nail rails in. Now, here's the bottom. That's what I meant about the reveal on the underside where you can put lighting. I'll just set that on there like that. Like that. All right, all stapled on with quarter crown, one inch staples. Here's the top. Sitting on the top of the upper now, upside down, that's the bottom. There you go, we're just about there. Just need to sand it now. Here's the inside, so if you get any light to shine in here.
puttied all the nail holes with some Timbermate wood filler, alder colored. There it is. Inside. And there is the finished corner upper. It's been fun. Hope everyone has enjoyed this little build. Appreciate everyone who made it to the end of the video. It really means a lot. When I first started this channel, I made a couple videos and then didn't make anything for about six months because I really didn't know if there would be any audience for it. But uh, subscribers continue to accumulate up to you know nearly 800 now. So I really appreciate that. I'm very humbled by it. And uh, I hope to just continue making good content. Um, if there's anything anyone wants to see, just let me know. I'm making a list of videos so I can consistently upload and hopefully get better at producing, you know, higher and higher quality content. And hopefully I can be as informative as I can be.